Alrighty. Alrighty, so, like I said, I'm here because I love and I care about you. But walking into here is just going to be breaking the first and second commandment. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Thou shalt have no false idols. So when you break those commandments, there's not going to be a chance for you. You're not going to be given chances. You're not going to be given the mercy and the grace that God wants for you, okay? That's not going to help. That's not going to help when you're giving money contributing to this cause. You're wasting, you're, 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 you're contributing more spiritualism. You're contributing money to Satan. Let me tell you, man, Satan, Satan was the stem of child sacrifice. Child sacrifice started with Moloch, okay? They, they don't care about babies. You think they love abortion. They love abortion. They don't care about abortion. That's, a, that's exactly what gives them their power. Abortion. They, they, they love spells. They love spells, abortion, all that garbage. Let me tell you why. Because they don't have to sacrifice the children anymore. They got abortion clinics doing it already for them. Yeah, you know you love abortion. Don't lie. You're, you're, for, you're pro-life? I didn't think so. Because you're still giving child sacrifice to Mullick. Right, exactly. You're welcome. So I'm here telling you the truth, man. I'm here telling you the truth. That without Jesus Christ, it's impossible, man. Impossible to make your way to heaven. I'm here to tell you. I'm here mean, because I actually care about humanity. I care about every single one of you. And I'm here to tell you that when you're walking in there, you're wasting the time. You're taking chances. You're playing with your life. You need to start playing with your life. Your daddy Lucifer is going to bow down to Jesus Christ. Your daddy Lucifer is going to bow down to Jesus Christ. Because he's an angel. And every angel has to bow down to Jesus Christ. Okay? And I'm sure they use their little witchcraft to get my name. I already saw somebody pull up my Facebook. I didn't tell them my first and last name. But, you know, they use their witchcraft to figure that out. Yeah, man, I swear. Promise. Like, honestly, they found my first and last name. I haven't said it one time, dude. Nobody knows me here. That's, dude, that's witchcraft. That's witchcraft, man. Come on. Come on, man. I actually, you know what? I'll take it back. It probably looked in my Bible. I hear you. Either way, I don't know. Doesn't matter. Regardless of it, it's weird. Makes me feel weird, but I'll tell you what, it doesn't matter. I'm here to tell the truth, man. I'm just here to give out the truth. All right? Without you acknowledging that Jesus Christ did die on that cross, without you acknowledging that the blood of Yeshua was given to give you a chance, there is no chance into heaven. That is automatic suicide, spiritual suicide. Not one of you would give away your eyes for no amount of money. I could offer you $10 million for one of your eyeballs. You would say no. Don't lie. You would say no right now. But if I said, but if you were to give away your soul, you'd do it for free. You'd do it for free. You'd give it all away. So why is your, why is your, why is your soul more important than your eyes? Why, why is your eyes more important than your soul? That's all a waste. All of that is, ain't going to get you nowhere. Without acknowledging Jesus Christ, all of this is going to take you straight to hell. I mean, it's going to take you straight to hell. Without Jesus Christ, it's impossible. That's impossible. I love pictures. I love it. I know. I'm famous. Go ahead. Get a close-up picture if you want. Get a close-up. Because your, your daddy Lucifer ain't, is going to bow down to Jesus Christ. And if you're not ready to acknowledge that Jesus Christ died on that cross, he died because he didn't even know you. He don't know. You think Jesus Christ knew who you were? You weren't even born yet when he died. He died for you in the past, all right, so that when you would sin today like you're doing now, like you're doing now, spitting in the face of Lucifer, which I've already been spat on. Talk about who's violent. But, but Jesus Christ, when, you, when you're not ready to acknowledge that he died on that cross, when, you, when, when he didn't even know you, he didn't know who you were, but he was willing to give up his own blood, he was willing to give his blood, so that you could just have a chance and y'all are sitting here spitting in his face y'all are spitting in jesus christ's face when he died on that cross the worst possible death just so you could have a literal chance into heaven and look what you've done look how you treat him you're not willing to acknowledge that he rose from the grave but who moved that stone who moved that stone where did his body go where are his bones today have you found him that's why they keep trying to say he didn't exist you can't find his bones. Why do you think you can't find his bones? Because he ascended into heaven, right where he belongs. Okay? He ascended into heaven right where he belongs. You won't find Jesus Christ's bones. You need to acknowledge that he existed and that he is the true king. If you don't, then you won't. You have no chance into getting into heaven. So by going into there, you're just breaking the first and second commandment. The first and second commandment will surely take you to hell. 
surely their father Lucifer will bow down to Jesus Christ, my king. Because Jesus Christ is the king. Alright? And there is one true God. And only one true God. His name is Adonai. His name is Adonai, the one true God. But, I, but I've seen this, this part of the city and it, oh, is it wicked. This part of the city loves their sin. They love, that's why I'm here. Y'all are wondering, why are you here, dude? Why do you speak, dude? Because I came here for the wicked. I came here for the wicked, man. I'm not here to go preach the ones that are already saved, or already trying to save themselves, or just think about it. I'm here to maybe help you think that one day you gotta die. There's a, there's a time when you're gonna have to die no matter what. And you don't wanna think about that because you wanna keep thinking about how this life is gonna get easier. But man, I'll tell you this, it doesn't really matter. This life is irrelevant because it's short compared to eternity. The next life is for eternity. The next life is for eternity. So why are you busy worrying about everything in this life and not worrying about what's gonna happen for all of eternity? What? Not worrying about all of eternity, telling me that it's, you know, it's one big sleep. It means all bad people and good people go to the same place. I don't think so, that's false. I don't think so. I don't think so. All right? They said, oh, uh, I don't want you here because you're hurting my business. What's your business? Your business is the business of Lucifer. Of course it's hurting your business. What do you think I came out here for? To hurt you? Of course I came out here for that. What do you think I came out here for? The, the intentions of maybe helping people not to go give away their souls to your spiritualism. I'm here to tell them the truth. I, 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 I am, I'm here to preach to mankind. I'm here to preach to the souls that still need to think about that Jesus Christ died on that cross. Of course he died on that cross. Jesus Christ is the one that you need to start thinking about. You need to start thinking about, even most even most uh, scientists have to agree that Jesus Christ existed. But I'm here to tell you he was the Messiah. He Not only did he just exist, but he was also the Messiah. Of course Jesus Christ was the Messiah. That's why he fulfilled 456 prophecies. That's why he rose and conquered the grave. It's time to think about that. We can't keep allowing the children to go in here. We can't keep allowing these people with your children because they like child sacrifice and abortion. Why would you worry with them? Why, why would you go and support them? They're not, they're not there for your children. They don't care about you. They just, they're just feeding off your, they're, they're just feeding off your human emotions. Oh, here we go. Hi. Hi, how you doing? I'm well, how are you? If you don't mind, just give me a little space. Give me a little space. Oh, I, I don't want to make friends with you. I don't want to make friends with you. I don't want to make friends with you, ma'am. Your daddy's Lucifer. Your daddy's Lucifer. You already told me. Oh, your daddy's Lucifer. Your daddy's Lucifer. Your daddy's Lucifer. You can't talk over me. You can't talk over me, so it doesn't matter. So, like I said, I'm here to tell people about Jesus Christ. Oh, that's salt. Oh, that's salt. No. Good thing I have that on camera. Be, yeah, that's not very nice. She's not be good. Rude.